G, biased commentary. Yeah. You watch fights, and the commentary doesn't reflect what I'm seeing in the ring. Yeah. Whether it's the zone, PBC, top rank. It's yeah. like, you can tell who's the A side. You can tell who the deck is stacked for. Yeah. And if you're an uneducated fan, you'll get swayed by the commentary. I shouldn't have to. I, I shouldn't have to watch the fight with the sound off to get an accurate <laughs> depiction of the fight. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Um, I feel like that is a major problem in boxing because one thing you don't want to believe is when you're going into a fight is that you have everybody against you. Because that's like, damn, that's tough. I ain't just fighting the fighter. I'm fighting the ref. I'm fighting the commentary. I'm fighting the judges. I'm fighting the crowd. You know what I mean? That's a tough. It's a tough situation to be in, um, and not only with Josh Taylor and Tiafimo, not only was Josh Taylor the champ, they fighting in New York, <laughs> so it's already like damn, like I'm already in New York. You know what I'm saying? I, I already took the shot where I'm coming from. I'm from what? Scotland? Where are you from? From Scotland. I'm from, I'm from Scotland, and, and, and I'm, I'm giving y'all what y'all want, but damn, the commentary I felt like was a little rough, and I think that's, I think that's tough on the sport because. It shows if you just listening where they where they want the uh, the cars to go, what, what side they picking, and it's bad because for guys coming up who who are contenders or, or are just up and coming, they feel like damn, I can't take a fight unless I'm the favorite. Then that's then that's what's fucking with these fights. Guys don't want to fight unless they coming out of a certain corner, unless they walking out second, or unless they feel like they got the house with them. And I just think that's bad for boxing. I just, I, it's not a good feeling. Um, when I was listening to it, it was kind of bothering me because they were showing instant replays of, of a couple rounds before. And I'm like, that's not what just happened though. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, what that had to do with the last round? Like you showing me clips from the fourth round, we in the seventh round. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? And it was times when Josh Teller was doing his thing and they wasn't even talking about the fight. They talking about some other shit. Like if you go back and listen to it, I forgot the dude name that be sitting with Andre Ward, but or Joe Tessitore or whatever. Yeah, it was one of them. They was just talking about some other shit, and I'm like, yo. But then soon as Tio started heating up and doing his like thing, like Mark Kriegel, one and one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was Tio, Tio, and I'm like, all right, that's cool. I mean, but I mean, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. It's it's all for a reason, and the way, honestly, the way to kill that. Is you gotta go in there and get a knockout, or you gotta go in there and just beat on something. See, but that's like in, in bet. All right, so I understand this preferential treatment in basketball and football. Like, if you a basketball star, yeah. you're a star. But the problem I got in boxing is if I see a dude win ten rounds and the other dude win two, right? Yeah. I I don't know what the scorecard is gonna be at the end of the fight. Yeah. I know if I see. The Denver Nuggets score 112 points and the Miami Heat score 100 points. The Denver Nuggets won. Right. In boxing, that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's real, it's real tough. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's part of the mission. They swaying this, they swaying the people. Yeah, I mean, T.O. definitely was the favorite. He is the bigger draw between him and, and Josh Taylor for, for, you know, for valid reasons, though. T.O. is exciting at times. Um, he was talking crazy during the buildup. I felt like that was part of it. I felt like I, when these guys do certain stuff, I don't think it's just them. I think people give them advice to do these things because, yo, you know if you talk a little crazy. Because, listen, everybody talking about how you out of your mind right now. If you start talking crazy, you know, they're going to think you really out of your mind. But, really, this is one of the best camps you've been at. It. So, go ahead and do that. So, I think this is advice from the PR and all this other stuff. I think I think that the fighters just buy into it and they go with it. But, but for the, the guys who control the game, it look bad because you just totally against this other guy who's the champ right now. And it's like, damn. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But but for me, the only way to really change it, you got to go in there and, and, and beat the system, which is beat the, the guy in front of you. But beat him up clear. Make it clear. You know what I mean?